The search for answers in the Russia probe does go well beyond Jared Kushner. Here's justice correspondent Jeff Pegues. CBS News has learned that the House Intelligence Committee wants to speak with more than two dozen people as part of its Russia investigation. On that list, Michael Cohen, the president's longtime personal attorney. Today, he refused to cooperate. There has not been a single witness, document, or piece of evidence linking me to this fake Russian conspiracy, he wrote in a statement, adding the requests for information were poorly phrased and overly broad. The House Intelligence Committee has also contacted Boris Epstein, a senior advisor on the Trump campaign who worked briefly at the White House. Epstein's attorney called the request voluntary and added that his client had not been subpoenaed. The House and Senate investigations are operating in parallel to the investigation being run by former FBI Director Robert Mueller. That inquiry is now focused on Mr. Trump's son-in-law, Jared Kushner. Kushner is under scrutiny for meetings he had with Russian Ambassador Sergei Kislyak and the head of a state-owned Russian bank, Sergei Gorkov. Gorkov is close to Russian President Vladimir Putin and was trained by the country's top spy agency. According to a former U.S. official, Kislyak told Moscow Kushner wanted to set up a secure line of communication with senior Kremlin officials. Kushner did not initially disclose his meetings on his security clearance application. Adam Schiff is the top Democrat on the House Intelligence Committee. They raise a question about who would these conversations be concealed from, uh, and if it was trying to conceal them from the Obama administration, of course, uh, we would want to know why that was taking place. Late today, former National Security Advisor Michael Flynn reportedly agreed to turn over some documents to the Senate Intelligence Committee. Jeff Flynn is another top focus of the investigation and initially refused to comply with the committee's subpoenas. All right, Jeff, thank you.